Good day, learners. This is Miss Jai, and we are now on the last lesson of the fourth quarter. So in this lesson, we will talk about formulating short replies to questions. But before we go to the main topic, let's have a sort of like a review. Now there are two types in English. There are two types, two main types of questions which are the WH questions and then yes, no questions, right? right? I, I know you are all familiar with this. And yeah, WH questions are what we call informative questions. And most of the time, I mean every time, we encounter informative questions. They consist of who, what, when, which, where, why and how that are usually called wh questions most wh questions begin with a question word like who and auxiliary is example is and the subject brother your brother plus another verb and so on and informative questions are used to ask about qualities people time places and so on now who is used in questions as the subject of the verb usually the people it is used to ask who is that person i mean it's all about people what is used in question to ask things or activities or an action now in what question there are other types of what question we have what kind of or what type of is used to talk about specific things or characteristic say for example what kind of food do you like what type of car do you drive so it's specific things it's all about specific things and then what time is used to ask specific time like what time is it what time does the movie begin what like it goes like this what was the weather like what is lola like and so on where is used in questions to ask about places when is used for asking about a general specific time and we also have why is used for asking about reasons which is used to ask how many things i mean reasons rather which is used to ask about things, especially choices, with a small number of possible answers. And we also have how. How is used to ask in what way. How is combined with many words, can be also combined with many words like how much, used to ask specific, I mean quantities, how often, or manner, how long, or characteristics and so on again how can be combined with other words many words to ask questions about specific characteristics qualities quantities and many more and overall how is used to ask in what way but apart from wh questions we also have yes or no questions right so in this lesson we will be answering the following questions or the main focus of our lesson for today is all about the yes no questions what are the yes no questions how to form a yes no question and how to answer a yes no question using a short answer so let's begin so what are the yes no questions they are the simplest kind of questions they can simply be answered by yes or no so only two possible responses we have yes or no the it is also known as closed questions because there are only two possible answers for this question now how do you form yes no questions we use one of these verbs okay if you are going to form a yes no question take a note take a look at the verbs used 
we have auxiliary verb and modal verbs. Now, in the yes-no question, the first one is using auxiliary verbs to form a yes-no questions. Yes-no questions are made using these verbs. So the main auxiliary, ver auxiliary verbs are to be, to have, and to do. But they appear in the following forms. We have to be, like am, is, are, was, where, being, being, and will be, but to have. We have has, have, had, having, and will have. And for to do, we have thus, do, did, and will do. And using these verbs, they should always be at the beginning of your question. So how will you form that? Let's have an example. Again, in making yes or no questions using auxiliary verbs, you begin your set question rather with the auxiliary verb plus the subject and plus the, the rest of the question. For example, am I sympathetic? Do I put the keys on the table? Have you ever seen any rainbow? So those are the examples of making yes no question using auxiliary verb and always remember the pattern or the format for this one but how do you answer a yes no question that uses auxiliary verbs in english saying yes i do or no i don't care no i don't are more polite than just saying yes or no so to answer a yes no question that uses auxiliary verb if your answer is yes this is how it looks like yes plus the subject plus the auxiliary verb for example am i sympathetic yes is somehow impolite but if you're going to be polite you can and you can answer yes you are yes you are sympathetic okay do you prefer your coffee black? Yes, you can also say it that way, but more polite, it's more polite if you say, yes, I do. Yes, I prefer my coffee black and many more. So always use the long form in yes answer. And if your answer is yes, I know, rather, this is how it looks like. No plus the subject plus the auxiliary verb plus the not. Okay, instead of using have not, use the short form of the verb haven't okay say for example am i sympathetic no you aren't except instead of saying no you are not you can say this way no you aren't no you aren't sympathetic so that is how you make an answer for a yes no question if it uses an auxiliary verb if it's a yes, use the long form of the verb. If it's a no, instead of using have not, use haven't or the short form of the verb. How about another one or another way to form a yes no question is with the use of modal verbs. There are many modal verbs in English, but there are here are some of the modal verbs. We have can, could, may, might, will would, must, have to, shall, should, it should be should, ought to, had better, okay? The same with the use of auxiliary verb, they should always be at the beginning of your question. So, again, in making yes-no question using modal verbs, you're be you begin your question with a modal verb, and then followed by the subject plus the main verb plus the rest of the question. Say, for example, would you like to drink tea? Should I clean my room every day? Could you tell me about yourself? And many questions. Okay. Model plus the subject plus the main verb and then the rest of the question. So that's the format or the pattern of yes no question using model verb. And how do you answer a yes no question? It should be model verb here. It should be like this, yes, plus the subject, plus the model verb, plus the rest of the question. I mean the answer, rather. Now, if your answer is yes, it goes like this, 
And this is how it looks like if you're going to use it in a sentence. Would you like to drink tea? And your answer should be yes, I would. Or yes, I would like to drink tea. Another example. Should I clean my room every day? You can answer yes, I should. Yes, I should clean my room every day. And many more examples. Now always remember to use the long form in yes answers. And how about if your answer is no? It's almost the same, but you will use no, and the same with using auxiliary. You should use the shortest form, not should not, but shouldn't will do. Say like, for example, like this one, would you like to drink tea? You may answer, no, I wouldn't, instead of no, I would not. And then you can also answer it this way, no, I wouldn't like to drink tea, okay? Another example, should I clean my room every day? You may answer like this, no, I shouldn't. Or, no, I mean, it should be you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't clean your room every day. Sorry about the typos. So that is how you make an answer for a yes-no question if it uses a model verb. Almost the same with auxiliary verb. It's just that it uses it uses model verb instead of auxiliary verb, okay? So, also please take note of the following. If you is the subject of the question, replace it with I or we, okay? Do you like goat meat? And if it's affirmative, you change this one into I and we. Same with the negative one, I or we. You, if you answer this one, you change this into I or we, okay? Another one, if the question starts with are you or replace are with am. Like, are you bored? And your answer should be, yes, I am. No, I'm not. But there is an exemption. If you are, there are so many people trying to answer this one, I mean, like, you may answer it this way. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. You don't have to use yes, we am. That's incorrect. But instead, use yes, we are, okay? And to end this lesson, let us have a sort of a recap. We now know that yes or no questions are known as closed questions since there are two possible responses for the question. We have yes or no. And how to form a yes-no question? Simple. The auxiliary verb first and the model verb plus the subject plus the rest of the question or the main verb and then the rest of the question. And then how to answer a question using a short answer? The same. Use the yes, I would, yes, I wouldn't. Okay? Long answer for yes, short form of the verb for no. So that's all for our lesson. I hope you learned something from me today. This is your teacher, Teacher Jai. Thank you and see you again. Bye.